Well, a nonprofit business located in Park Rapids continues to offer employment as well as providing various activities to meet the needs of people with disabilities and mental illness. The Hubbard County Developmental Achievement Center has been around since 1973 and is a valuable resource for both their client and staff employees. Destiny Wiggins has more. Believing that everyone deserves the right to have a meaningful life by turning challenges into opportunities are just a few words that describes the Hubbard County Developmental Achievement Center in Park Rapids. The Hubbard County DAC, um, we are celebrating our approximate 46th year in business and our job is to provide training, employment, and day activity for people with disabilities, adults with disabilities. The 501c3 nonprofit organization provides a personable and tailored atmosphere to those with developmental disabilities and mental illness. Very much person-centered, so it depends on the individual. So we would look at what their needs are. Some people have um, just some therapy needs that we might um, focus on. Some are activity related. Um, so we would tailor whatever program that we would come up with to whatever that individual needs. So it's a wide, wide variety of activities and, and options that people have. The DAC also owns and operates three retail stores. Uh, we offer three stores in the community. Uh, so we offer benefits to the community as well as our clients. We have a thrift store. We have um, a furniture type store and then we have a little antique store that's downtown. And all of those facilities provide employment for um, individuals with disabilities and our traditional workers. Barely Used is one of the three businesses offered by the Development Achievement Center. The business is a thrift store that sells donated items and handcrafted items made by employees from the DAC. Handicapped pe people people and non-handicapped people should have the right to choose where they live and work because there are handica some handicapped people like me who need and want to work in sheltered workshops uh, and live in supportive group homes. So that's why I think sheltered workshops and group homes are very important. The DAC has been providing these services since 1973 and plans to continue to be a helpful, valuable, and provide the work environment for those in their community. Reporting in Park Rapids, Destiny Wiggins, Lakeland News. The center is also looking at ways to expand their facility in the future. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.